Guys, how you doing? My name is Tommy, and this is the Gallery Backyard Barbecue. And on today's show, I'm gonna turn my Pit Boss 1600 into one giant cast iron skillet. Oh yeah. Tommy and this is the Gallery Backyard Barbecue and look you're gonna want to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell that way you're gonna get notified every time I do an upload it helps the channel a lot leave me a comment down below that also helps the channel a lot and look we are gonna be doing a lot of pit boss 1600 cooks coming so you definitely definitely want to get notified oh, yeah. Now let's take a look at what we're gonna work with uh, today on today's uh, cook. So I got uh, two inch and three quarter ribeyes. I got some mushrooms, a sweet potato, onion. We're gonna go with a, a thyme and rosemary. This is your uh, classic cast iron skillet steak recipe. And we're gonna go with a home fry type style sweet potato. You could use regular potato if you have. And from there, what we wanna do is we wanna dice up one half an onion. Uh, for this recipe, I'm just going with a, a basic yellow onion. I've done this recipe in the uh, cast iron skillet. It is about this, the best way you could possibly cook a steak, in my humble opinion, of course. Now I'll leave a uh, card up above if you want to check out that recipe. Alrighty, so look, we got our uh, basic prep there. Now what you want to do is get these uh, ribeye steak uh, all seasoned up we're just going to go with a basic uh, kosher salt pepper and garlic that's a uh, granulated garlic oh that's classic and of course you want to get both sides I mean, that is basically what we're looking at there. And I'll tell you what, man, it's hard to beat. Now, look, I got my uh, Pit Boss 1600 moving along. You see the griddle's just coming up to temperature. That's okay. We're about 200 and a quarter. And she'll rise pretty quick. Again, you want to go a hot griddle or hot saute pan cold oil and then kind of wipe it in. So what we're gonna do here, right, we wanna get what's gonna take the uh, longest to cook first, and that's gonna be the uh, sweet potatoes. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get those on, followed by those uh, diced up onions. I've definitely had some uh, pretty good fun using a 1600 in that griddle. We're going to get some salt and pepper down. And I've not even done any low and slow yet. Oh man, but I can assure you it's coming. And you see we're up already up over 575 Fahrenheit. And you know, anytime you're working with a uh, potato and onion, look, just like a saute pan, right? You wanna keep it moving. You know, you want it to cook before it burns. 
What I'm going to do here is I'm going to put a little more fat into the picture with a little uh, a little butter. Get you in close, of course. See, we're getting a uh, pretty nice looking color on those potatoes. And one thing I can tell you is this griddle gets up in over 600 Fahrenheit, man. That is, uh, that's pretty hot. Now look, at this point, you know we're about 75% done on the uh, potatoes, so we're gonna get our mushrooms down, right? Because we know that's only gonna take about four or five minutes to cook. And I'm just gonna go with a, a bell mushroom, just cut in half. I'll salt them up, put a little pepper on there, a little butter. This is your uh, classic uh, steak dinner. See, we're up over 500 Fahrenheit. Oh. <laughs> All right, everybody. So here's a little uh, tip for those who are, are going to get this pit here. So you can control the uh, temperature of the griddle a little bit by keeping, obviously you can control it with the temperature, right? But also by keeping that uh, broil shut, it's a little bit cooler. I'm gonna sear some steaks on this sucker and I am gonna power open that broiler and see if I can get that griddle up to six, 650 Fahrenheit. And uh, oh yeah, the hotter I can get that griddle, the better the sear. Come on. All right, look, I'm gonna get the uh, potatoes off along with the onions and the uh, mushrooms. I'll get them off, I'll get them on the side because I wanna prep that griddle to get the steaks on. Alrighty, look, so I got the potatoes off. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up that broiler and see how hot we can get the uh, griddle. Alrighty, look, just as in a cast iron skillet a recipe, you wanna get that griddle smoking hot and you can see we are up over that 670 Fahrenheit. And that is gonna give us a good sear. So look, basically what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna get my uh, two steaks on, hit them with a little oil, and I'm gonna cook them for about five minutes before I flip. If you've never done steak like this with that uh, rosemary and thyme with the butter and garlic, this is definitely you need to try. And as you see, man, we got one heck of a crust. And that was about five minutes. Flip. At this point, what we're gonna do is we're gonna cook them for about two, three minutes. These are thick steaks. We're going for about a medium rare on the cook. So we'll cook them for a, a few minutes before we hit it with that rosemary thyme and butter garlic. Oh, man. I'd 
say this Pitbull 1600 griddle is definitely doing its job. Basically, I'm moving that thicker steak over what I know to be the hot spot. Now what I got there, some whole garlic, some uh, rosemary thyme, I'll get that down, I'll hit it with a little oil, and that's gonna help release the oils in those uh, herbs and also the uh, uh, garlic. All right guys, look, we are rocking and rolling. This is some live action for you. I got some thyme in there, I got some rosemary in there, I got some garlic in there with some butter. Gonna be in there in a, a few minutes. I'll start trying to baste it as best I can and I'll be flipping the steak back and forth. I'm looking for a rare to medium rare. Oh yeah. Alrighty, look here. So basically, since I cannot baste those steaks with that uh, butter sauce, I'm just kind of moving the uh, steaks in and out. I want that flavor. I want that rosemary, thyme, garlic, and butter flavor to help build a steak salty crust. All right, look, at this point, what I'm going to do is I've powered the pit down. And we're, like I said, 550, 600 on that griddle. I'm just gonna let things kind of mellow out, let everything cook, let all those flavors come together. And then we'll get it on the board, we'll cut it open, and we'll get that taste test. Alrighty, look, as we wind this cook down and take it in live for that taste test, I can tell you, man, this was one fun cook. You know, you got a lot of flavors with that rosemary, thyme, butter, the garlic, the salt. I mean, if you've never cooked a steak this way, you are definitely missing out. All right, look, we're getting ready to take this in live. I want to uh, thank you all for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, ring that bell, so you get notified every time I do an upload. It is greatly appreciated. That is it, man. And I just kind of left the cameras running. I hope that came across on film. You know, just how much fun that was, just going back and forth, working that uh, flat top, trying to control those temps. I dug the whole thing from start to finish. And again, man, this uh, Pit Boss 1600 is going to be fun. You know, so I had that, uh, I had that hot spot to contend with uh, where I seared uh, before the flip, and I kind of moved that in the back. In the future, I'm gonna do a uh, little bit of a level on the, uh, on the griddle so I can get that butter sauce in one spot and figure out a way how to scoop it on there. You know, look, this was a first time run and I'll definitely figure that out. So let's uh, do the uh, taste test. Oh man, yeah, I mean, you know, Cuts like butter. Oh, yeah. Trying to get you in for the, uh, you know, look, trying to get you in for the shot, man. But uh, here you go, man. This was fun and uh, cheers.
I picked up the rosemary, I picked up the thyme, the butter, the garlic, it was all in the steak, and of course with that salt and pepper crust. Oh man. Wow. You know, it's in there, man. It's just like cooking on a cast iron skillet in the house, only you're outside, you know, under the stars, under the sun, uh, the moon. You know, I totally dug this cook, man. This is a, uh, you know, this is top of the line a steak right here. You know, definitely better than just searing it over the open flame. Look, I like that taste also. But, you know, with the thyme and the uh, rosemary, with the garlic, with that salt crust, with that sear, you know, it's pretty, pretty tough to beat. Uh, so, you know, I definitely dug this cook and we are going to dive into this griddle more and more as the days and weeks go on. And of course, we'll do some low smoking also. I'm going to drop some Pit Boss videos here. Definitely check those out. You know, I'm going to roll my Patreons here. I appreciate the uh, support from all of you as the show grows. So we all will grow together. I got a lot of good things coming up. That's it for this one. Leave me a comment down below, especially if you've not commented before. I know I got a lot of new subscribers over the past couple weeks. Check in and let me know you're out there. And until next time, we will see you soon. Oh, man.